social justice activists, the self-appointed representatives of people who they can't even name. They don't know who they're talking about, but they've decided, right, these people are black and therefore we must share a bunch of interests. And it, it's well, like Hitchens is saying. Yeah, it's, well, it's racism. It's <laughs> racism yeah. perfectly defined. It's like there are black people. They're all the same. Yeah. I'm a black person. I'm just like them. I can say what black people think, and you should listen to me because all black people are like that. Yeah. It's like exactly what a racist says is all those black people, they're all the same. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, exactly well, as Hitchens no, said. They're it, not. It's a lack of discrimination between these individuals. Mm -hmm. You know, that's exa exactly the point. But and the, what what I find most interesting though is that they use this as a path to power. They use, this this is their weapon to get something from someone else. I represent someone else. I mean, whenever they say it, they can say, Look, I think this i'm black and therefore i think this but they don't they always say black people uh, someone else even though everything they're saying is about their own self-interest anyway you know the, these feminist women who are like you oh, well i'm a feminist therefore you need to do things for women it's like okay when you say for women you mean just for you though don't you because really you don't represent anyone else and you're just using this as a weapon to get something from someone mm. that is well, actually you, unearned you didn't right. earn this. It's, it's even more reprehensible than that because well this is the idea of weaponizing compassion it's like mm -hmm. well if you were a good person you do yeah. what i'm fa yeah. forcing you to do on behalf of these oppressed people for whom i speak it's like it's very difficult to parse through that you think well you know there is there is uh, prejudicial discrimination Mm -hmm. And it's wrong. And prejudicial discrimination occurs when a person should be encouraged to or allowed or promoted into a position because they have the skills necessary to do uh, an outstanding job in that position. And they're being denied it for reasons that have nothing to do with those skills. That happens. Yeah, of course. Now, it happens in every society and we're doing everything we can to stop it from happening in Western society because mm -hmm. everyone, right or left, basically recognizes that it's foolish not to make the use of make use of talent but it's, so it's no more one, than that as well it's you know it's unfair it just because someone you know happens to have found themselves created in a certain way you know what what what's the justification to prevent them from doing something unless there is a real physical barrier you know like well, for you know a woman you know she's obviously not going to be the uh, you know a shell stacker if she's particularly short or something like that. There's a physical barrier, but if there's not a physical barrier, there's no real justification for it. Well, I think I think you don't even have to go down the fairness route. You can do it just from the perspective of cold-hearted self-interest and greed. Well, you know, there is also is that, that as well. Yeah. Well, which is if if someone has the capability then you should exploit them. You, well, so, but then the reason I'm making they, that argument- They're gonna take you out of context saying that. <laughs> yes, 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 I know. But the point is, is that you don't have to attribute, um, you don't have to attribute kind heartedness to a capitalist system no, in course. order to note that it will function properly. It's pure naked self-interest and greed makes it imperative that if you have a skill, I'll use it. I don't care what color you are, what, 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 or whatever else there is about you. If you're competent, I want to see the damn competence. Yeah. And the economics will drive me towards doing that. So the, the reason I'm making that point is you can reach broad agreement across the entire political spectrum that prejudicial discrimination is flawed at every level of analysis. Mm -hmm. So we don't, we don't need to have that conversation. Everyone agrees on it. But, but, to, but to go from there and, and make... Uh, and, and, and to make a case that you can speak on behalf of people who are be, being discriminated against because you happen to be a member of that category is, is palpably, and, and, to, and to derive vir virtue from that. It's like, I'm against discrimination. It's like, yeah, well, me too. I'm also against poverty. I'm against illness. I don't need to wave a placard to say any of those things because it's so bloody self-evident. Yeah, there I mean, isn't anyone who's for poverty. Well, yeah, you, wouldn't, you, you would think that this could just be assumed and then we could move on to the next stage of the conversation but that's another thing as well the number of mind readers who take up social justice as a hobby career or interest is is incredible you know they they tell me exactly how i think about things oh that's very interesting thank you i didn't know you knew my mind better than i did